All right, guys, are you finished with the, the assigned tasks, please? Yes, no? I'm waiting for others to come. Okay, so more of you have joined. All right, I'm seeing you guys. All right. Um, have you completed the assigned tasks? Just now, the worksheet that I sent you? Hello, anybody, somebody? I'm quiet, sir. Evening. Yeah, I'm Johnny. All right. Um, yeah, I'm not too long, but... Say it again? I'm not through, but I started. I'm doing it right now. Okay, please. I'm, I'm waiting on you to complete that so I can move on to doing the stuff. Good evening, sir. Sir, what are we doing now? I, I sent a worksheet in the WhatsApp group um, on calculating some simple ratios. I want you to try working that for me, please. Then I'm going to just do the, the solution to those very quickly, and then we'll move on into something else um, pertaining to ratio. OK, sir. All right, so let me know when you're finished, please, in the, in the chat. Quick and fast.
Yes, no, maybe so. No, sir. Can you? Denise? All right, Jordy, hear me better now? Yes, sir. Okay, Shanice, you hear me, you hear me now, Shanice? Yes, sir, I can hear you now, okay. sir. Okay. Uh, Tracy, you hear me? Yes, no? All right, um, Shanice, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you, sir. Okay, let us close for one. I hope the others will follow suit. Number one, 18 pounds, 22 pounds. How do we um, do that as a And it says in the simplest form. So we have to remember, it says simplest form. What would you do right there? Sir, you will divide it, sir. You divide it? Sir, you can use the, the highest common multiple, the lowest common multiple, sir, and divide that can go into both. See the, 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 okay, is it multiple or factor you want to see? Factor, sir. Factor, sir. Factor, all right. Good. So how, how did you do yours? Sir, I just wrote it um as 18 over 22, sir, as a fraction. Okay. All and right, so you said 18 over 22, yes, and then what did you do? I divided it by 2. 2, so 2018 goes? 9. And 2022 20 goes? 11. So you now have a fraction as 9 over 11. Yes, but how sir. do you... Okay, so it says express each ratio as a fraction in the simplest form. So, so your answer there will be 9 over 11. Yes, sir, because it cannot break down any further, sir. Very good. Now, how would you represent that as a ratio in its simplest form? 9 to 11, sir. So 9. Very to good. 11. Agreed? Yes, sir. What's the okay. what you go for that? that means super woman. I need to try to break it down a little more. No, man. There's, there's nothing common between the 9 and the 11. I got that answer still in the I was trying to look at you. No, okay, no problem. What do you got for the second one? For the, for the second one? 12 pence to 36 pence. Oh, you told them why I'm sitting there, sir. Sure, one three. over three, sir. What is it? Say that again. One over three. Okay, all right. So look at, look at how I'm going to do this one differently. I'm going to say 12, 2, 36, and I'm going to look to see what is common between the two? Say that again. One over two, I got. No, ma'am. Not two. Because if I divide both sides by 12, three, I'm going to get one to three. Yeah, one to three. So one to three as a ratio or one over three as a fraction. So this will be one over three. Or one to three. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, ma'am. Now, let me tell you where 
where where I want to go and I want to go into this class as a matter of fact. I want us to Hello? Let, let, let me give you a scenario. So uh, it takes yeah. somebody say something. So say for say for example, I say to you that um a particular recipe bakes sites for kids. How would you do the recipe conversion? So the number to call it as RCF, the recipe conversion factor, to do instead of five cookies, to do 17 cookies. To do 15 cookies is easy because five to 15, you can create a ratio. Five to 15, look at, look at the screen. So five to 15, you can create a ratio to say that this is going to be equal to a one to three. So if you start off with the one, you times your recipe by three in order to get the 15 cookies. Are you following me? Sir, I'm get number one, you know, I have a just come home. Very nice, very nice, very nice. But, but, but are you following my, city, my, my scenario though with the, with the five cookies, the recipe gives the five cookies and if you want to make 15 yes, cookies, sir. Yes, you sir. just increase it by three. Yes, yeah, sir. It's, it's, yes, it's sir. Easy. But what if you are given five, you are given a recipe for five cookies, but you want to create, you want to make 17 cookies, what do you do? What would be your, what would be your recipe for the conversion factor? Right? So your recipe conversion factor in this case would be three. So it means then that if you're using if you're using four ounces of flour for the cookies, you're going to multiply that four by three. So you only need 12 ounces. If you're using if you're using one um, teaspoon of vanilla, you're going to now need three teaspoons of vanilla. Because your recipe conversion factor is now going to be times three. So you have to use your ratio in order to calculate your recipe conversion factor. So sometimes you see the question say RCF, or sometimes it just ask you to, to convert. Same thing, talking about your recipe conversion factor. All right? So let me go back now. What if you have a recipe that gives you, that yields um, five cookies, but you want to do something now that is going to yield you 17 cookies. So what would you do? Talk to me, what would you do? Okay, you want 17 cookies. So you have a recipe for five cookies. You got an order to make 17 cookies. What are you gonna do? You're gonna make 20 cookies and then eat three and then sell 17 or you're gonna do the recipe conversion factor. For, for the 17 cookies. Yes, sir. Do the recipe conversion factor, sir. Yeah, man, because your chances are you may not have enough ingredients to do the 20 cookies. And if you continue doing this, you're going to run yourself into, into debt because you're making more than what you really need. So you have yes, to be sir. able to do the recipe conversion factor in order to get what it is that you want. How would I convert the recipe here? So the recipe conversion factor now is going to be what do I want that I, my ingredients in order to get it up to place to make um, the 17 cookies? So the recipe that I have will yield five cookies. I know to convert my factor, my, my recipe in order to make 17 cookies, what would be the recipe conversion factor? Use what is on the screen here that I'm highlighting in yellow to tell me what I'm gonna use as my recipe conversion factor. It's the same thing we've done for the two for the two questions so far. Oh, we don't start what is in I wrote this in the wrong place and nobody didn't tell me. It's supposed to be one third right here. And one to three here. What would be the recipe conversion factor for that one? Sir, I am hardly hearing mm -hmm. you. I don't know. My background is a bit noisy, but I'm not hearing it clear. I hear that you're talking, but can't hear what you're saying clearly. Anybody else have anything challenge? So you kind of sound far away, sir, but I put in my earphone, so it's a bit better, sir. Oh, all right. Hold on one minute, please.
sir, I wonder if um instead of the divide the uh, you multiply that that would be. That was what I was thinking too, Jonathan. Johnny, you were saying something. Yes, sir. I was saying, I mean, um, multiply. Multiply what? I heard Shani is coming to agree that you're supposed to multiply. Multiply what? What are you multiplying? So I would say, um, the a common factor between the two, sir. So are you multiplied by five, okay. sir? Both of them by okay. five. So tell me then, what would be your recipe conversion factor? So which is, I was saying to you that what, what we're using is factor, not multiple. So I want, five, I want us all to get into the. So the recipe conversion factor is five? That's what I say, sir. Okay. So let me answer the question again. So what so if you're using. In the same way though, sir. Like um, you find the, the lowest one. I wonder if it would be the same as your. your, your... Are okay, so remember now. Right, so let, 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 me, let me coin the thing the first time to you. So remember, if we have the recipe that yields five cookies, all right? And then number one to find the recipe conversion factor that will yield 15 cookies, what would be that recipe conversion factor? Sir, we're going to um, we multiply, multiply by, the recipe by five by. So the recipe, right. So the recipe conversion factor is going to be three. So it yes. means that that three is going to be used to multiply each of the ingredients in order to get it up to the 17 cookies. Everybody with me with that one? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Sir, good. repeat that question yes, one please. more time for me because I said no five. Problem. I don't know if no. I steer something wrong. All right, so no problem. So I have a recipe that yields five cookies. So it means that the recipe that is in the recipe book, when I use that recipe exactly, I am going to get five cookies. But I am required to make 17 cookies. Sorry, 15 cookies. I want you to give me the recipe conversion factor. It's going to yield 17, um, 15 cookies. Oh, so we're going to multiply the five by three to get 15. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. But instead of doing that, let me let me let me let me um Wait, you show you it, sir. Go ahead. Um you explaining that to Tracy is is, is the same thing, sir, because up at up top you have five to seventeen. It's supposed that mm -hmm. fifteen are or is that different? Right. Um, so, no, that that's 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 a diff that's a that's a different question. That's a different question. Oh, okay, sir. That's that's a that's a different question. So 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 look at this. So what I'm saying to you is no. So that was a different question. So five to fifteen. So this is a recipe um that I have for five for five um for five cookies. All right, my system is going to go crap for five cookies. I have the recipe for five cookies. All right. Now I want to find the recipe for fifteen cookies. Look so at what I'm doing. I'm dividing everything here by five. Everything here by five. 
So five into itself goes once I have one and then I'm gonna have three. So I'm using my ratio to reduce my fracture. So this is a recipe because I'm trying to get this to be one at all times. And then my recipe conversion factor here now is going to be three. So every ingredient in the recipe, I'm gonna multiply by three in order to get what it is that I want, all right? Are you following me with that one? Yes, no, maybe so? Yes, sir. All right, good. So now I'm saying to you, what if, what if I have, what if I have the same thing and I get another order? But this order now is not for 15 cookies this time. This order is for 17 cookies. What is my recipe conversion factor? Sir, is it that we're going to multiply this by a bigger number to get um what to add? So can no, we use see, you, 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 you just you just say, you, you just say multiply. No, look at what I did, Tracy. You just say multiply. Look at what I did just now in the example above. Well, well, well. Oh. So would you would use five, sir? How how would I use a five? And divide both of them, sir. Okay, so I'm dividing them by five. All right, good. So I get this to be my one. Remember, uh, yes. you remember the unitary method that we spoke about? Good. So this is going to be a unitary method in ITARY. So that's a unitary. So I'm always been for one. Now, this here is going to be my recipe conversion factor. Yes. Right? So what this is, when you divide 17 by five, what do you get? 3.4. 3.4. 3. Very good. So my recipe conversion factor is going to be 3.4. If you use three, you're not going to yield um, 17 cookies. You're only going to get 15 cookies. All right? Yeah, so so you have to do everything that what way. makes up the two, sir? Very good. The point four is what makes up the two. So what is going to happen here is, what is going to happen here is, let me just carry this thing up a little bit. All right, let's see that one point here. What is going to happen here is, So no. I didn't hear what, what is it? No, I'm saying what is going to happen here is... Sir, isn't it supposed is, um, to go in each number without leaving a remainder? Not necessarily. No, it's just the first one that you want to be one because it's a, sometimes it can get an odd number. Okay, sir. You can get an odd number. So, so, so what I'm saying to you is... If if you use, say you use um say to me the 17 cookies, you use you use um six ounces of flour. Say you use six ounces of flour. Right? Um and the six ounces of flour they eat five cookies. All right. But to make um, the 17 cookies, we need to find out how many ounces of flour we're supposed to use. But we know that six ounces yield five cookies. So in order to carry it up to the 17, we're going to multiply six by the 3.4 because that is our RCF, our recipe conversion factor. So we're converting the recipe. Now, when you multiply six by 3.4, what do you get? Nineteen point two, sir. Nineteen point two. Can I take him Nineteen point four, sir. Is it twenty okay. point four, sir? It's twenty point four. So you're gonna use twenty point four now ounces of flour. Is what I'm saying? So you're you're scaling up your ingredients so it is that you can have that 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 that, that the correct amount to use. So you're scaling up your ingredient. And to scale up your ingredient, now you have to multiply it by the recipe conversion factor. To scale up your ingredient, yeah. Okay. To, to scale up your ingredient, you have to multiply by the recipe conversion factor. And the recipe conversion factor is, is what's going to tell you what difference it is. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, give me a table. 
I'm going to ask that you, uh, my, my phone, my, my thing is going to go. I need to go and charge. Do me a favor. Continue working on the worksheet for me, please, and I'll come back to you. Right? Yes, sir.
Hey guys. Are you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I got kicked off, forgive me. Um I I don't know because my battery needed to charge. Well, I'm on a different device. And this device does not support um, my writing tablet. I had to borrow somebody's computer because mine went. Yeah. And I'm unable to write on this device um, as I have tried before. All right, quick, quick question. Are you com have you completed the, 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 the worksheet, the conversions? Sir, not finished it yet, sir. All right. So, Shanice, was was that a yes from you? Yes, sir. All right. Um, Angelina, how far reach? Naomi, Shane, how far you reach? Teresa. Sir, I'm so finished. All right. Two more minutes, please. Come on. I want you all to finish this thing. This is practice for for what is to come. So, two more minutes. You know I'm gonna finish it. My device constantly. I keep me off. I keep me off. I keep me off. So. Yeah, man. I don't know. Something. Something is happening. Um. Yeah. Something is. Something is happening. I had a little challenge myself, so something is definitely happening. Um. So. So don't don't worry too greatly about it. Something is happening. Did you see Marsha? No. Yes, I found me before. I know she sent me a message and I responded. But is that her? No, it's a black car she drives. No. It's, yeah, but. Oh, that's Auntie Diane's car. Dan, you see Marsha? I saw her earlier. I can't leave without knowing her, though. I can't leave without knowing that she is. I just said the phone in the car. You can call her for me, please? I just said the phone in the car. She sent me a message and I responded in my name. Call her for me, please. Hi, sir. Just Your mic is open. Thank you.
Into my mind? It's like going to... What happened? Not walking after the No, 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 and then them just leave and I don't know them why I'm supposed to go. So I'm very nervous. So I'm trying to sort that out. So I'm coming back to you. Thanks. Not a problem. All right, guys. Um, forgive me here. Um, Tracy, you, 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 you have, you have, um, or Shanice, or any of any of you, as a matter of fact, have younger siblings or nephew and niece or children have to take care of. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. So, um, somebody asked me to do a pickup today, and I did the pickup, and then the parent came, and and receive the child without me knowing say yo um me come pick up a picnic <laughs> so i am there looking for the child cannot find this child and i am asking everybody that's around have you seen this person he said oh no the 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 the, the, the mother came and picked up i said no but the mother can't pick up and me don't know you understand so forgive me for the for the i just had to um tell you what is happening because i mean i had to be walking up and down of course you're supposed to see me where i'm at with the computer in my hand because i know i have a class with you and then you're walking up and down with the computer in my hand you know where this child is i said the mother you know where this child is but anyhow thank god <sighs> trust me let me tell you something man you see when you have um when people interest you with money and then pick me and then house and then care mm. have a yard to their life all right so forgive me i so yeah thank you much my computer has died as i told you i cannot the my writing tablet is not supported by the by this year computer but um let us see though let us see if we can just run through the the remaining the remaining um questions because there is i can share yes i can share but cockroach the information i'm going to share is on that computer I don't know. I just took up the computer and let the charger. Silly me. All right. Um, is that? I just make up one. I'll make up one and give to you. All right. So where I am going with this topic is, I want to know. I want you to know how to work your ratios, because when you work your ratios, there's something that you're going to be getting, and I'm going to tell you. I expect you to be getting questions on the exam paper about recipe conversion. Recipe conversion is something that you're going to be using every day once you go into the kitchen. Once you go into the kitchen to cook, 
recipe conversion is a must. What you're doing in recipe conversion, you are you are you are calculating in such a way that, as I said to you, it is useless for you to it is useless for you to um. Sir, so far. Yes, sir. I go in and out. Man, I in and out. Just so far. Say for example. Say for example. You you are doing. Run again, sir. Sir, Sean. <laughs> Uncle, sir. Sir. 17 of them, 17 good friends I have. And sir, nine that sir, 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 you have to wait in that, sir, because they are talking and we're not here now. Sorry, sir. I disappeared a while ago, sir. Rockstone. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, sir, I hear you now. Nobody here, no, no, sir. All right, hold on there. All right, tell me to hear me now again. Yes, sir, we're hearing you. What just? All right. Yeah, we're hearing you. All right, good. So, so I have seventeen good friends, and I didn't invite. No, remember, no, you know. Every ingredient is going to cost you money. So you can't say, I 17 of them. Sure, yeah, me can't have no recipe. So I'm going to make 20, uh, me eat three, or me donate three. If you live a life like that, your business will never be able to survive. Your business will never be able to survive. I went somewhere the other day, and matter of fact, one of the tourism students is doing internship there, um, Bob Marley, Bob Marley, Bob Marley uh, Museum. And they have this, we call it now, shake. Um, it's a blend. And the supervisor says to me, come let me see if there's any sample that you can taste. And I said, okay, sure. Because, you know, based on what they said that they put in there, I would want to see what it tastes like. Because I was like, I never thought of putting this ingredient in my, in my shake before. So I will need to see how how the fitness, you know, supports it. So when he went to the the, 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 the station, I mean, say, you know, so I just finished the sample, the sample just finished, but hold on, another set of sample coming up. And I was like, where is the sample coming from? And I'm saying, oh, but this is, this is smart. So when they are making their, um, their shake, of course, they're putting ice to crush the ice, you know, like making a daiquiri, you put the ice to crush the ice, you put in other ingredients, you put in kiwi, you put in your soy powder, you put in whatever the situation, your banana, your oats, whatever else you put in there. And um, and you're using a 16 ounce cup, and you pour it into the 16 ounce cup, and you have, say, two ounces left. They don't throw away those two ounces. They pour the two ounces, so they will have containers labeled, say, for example, they're making uh, a pina colada, they're making um, a strawberry daiquiri, um, they're making a, 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 whatever else it is, a mango daiquiri, for argument's sake. So they'll have three different cups in, you know, labeled as such. So any extra that is left over is placed in it. Now, I come to the counter and say, how does your strawberry daiquiri taste? Is it sweet? Okay, give me a minute, sir. And they have little cups, then you go on a pour a little bit so you can taste it. Can you hear me? Oh. New Tracy. Yes, sir. So, so that in and of itself is not wasting. You're not wasting that because at least, you know, when, when a customer comes, you are saying to the customer, you can taste it. I have a sample to give for you. But you know baking cookies, you have to know your recipe conversion factor. Trust me, you're going to get questions on that. In, in the exam, I believe I'm going to give you um they're going to outline different recipes for you they're going to outline different recipes for you and the outline different recipe don't worry about the recipe read the question get the question and then i'm going to say to you say if you're supposed to make this amount of something calculate the recipe conversion factor all you need to find out is the lovely recipe that is given how much food will it yield if it tell you that we yield 
five cookies or five servings, but you need 17 servings, you do your recipe conversion factor. How do you do your recipe conversion factor? By using your ratio. So which is why I'm giving you this exercise to build on, on what it is that you have so that you can so that you can be able to understand what is happening. Um, because I can't, I have questions that I prepared for the class, but my computer is dead as I explained to you. I'm going to go through these quickly and then and then in, a, in another 10 minutes, and then I'm going to ask you, somebody in the class, anybody, if you have a recipe, if you can find out, can I do it in the meantime? Let me try it. I'll try, try and see if I can find me a recipe. Um, or anybody can find a recipe for me. And that tells me how much it's going to yield. And then I use that example and twist it up so it is that we can calculate the recipe conversion factor. So anybody, anybody, if I get three or four of them in the class, it's not a problem because I can use them to those for examples, other examples. Find a recipe for me. It could be juice, it could be food, it could be cake, it could be cookies, it could be tarts, whatever it is. And But also what is important, I need to see the recipe and I also need to know how much it yields. Right? So this one give me a one pound cake. Suppose we want a pound and a half cake. Right? So I will, I'll, I'll make it up and I'll do the other stuff. But let us go through this. Number three, 16 feet to 18 feet. What is the, what is it in the simplest fraction? Number three, we come fast. Okay, Angelina, I'm seeing that. What hold on there? I'm seeing that, Angelina. Um, eight over nine is correct, guys. Quick and fast, please. You save me this. Number four, twenty-five feet to twenty-five feet. 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 Nine snow days out of 40 days. Three Say it again. Three to ten or three out of ten. Very nice. Number seven. 12 blue cars out of 48 cars. One over four. One over four. One over four. four. I want to four. I want to four. Yeah, I want to say that because I want to recognize the ratio. Um, because the ratio is going to be... Um, you know what it is that the recipe gives to what you want but when you finish you're going to get a fraction and that fraction is what you're going to use to multiply to convert your recipe so i want you to say both so you can see the re um the relationship between both number eight 32 quarts or 48 quarts one over seven one over three number eight number eight two to three sir Yes, yes sir. sir. Two to three, sir. I one over I two over three. Two to three. That's sixteen over twelve. That's four over three. Four over six. Two to three. Yes, sir. Two to three, don't. Yes, sir. Yeah, two to three. Yeah, man, two to three. I right, six gallons of forty two to forty two gallons. One over seven. One to seven. One over seven. One to seven. Very good. Thirty beetles out of thirty-five insects. Six to seven. Oh? Six, six over seven six. or six to seven. Six to seven. Yes, correct. Very nice. I'm liking this. Twelve cups to twenty-one cups. Four over seven, 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 sir. Four over seven. seven. Four to seven. Very nice. I love this, guys. 21 dimes to 24 dimes. 7 to 8. 7 to 8 or 7 over 8. Very nice. 10 dimes out of 35 coins. 2 to 7. 2 to 7. Oh, that's true. Uh, Ufa class this. Nice. 22 cakes out of 24 cakes. 11 to 12. Talk truth. 10 nickels to 18 nickels. 5 to 9. 5 to 9. It's a true. It's a win. It's a win. It's a win. It's a win. So she just go and see. How are you, sir? <laughs> but Tracy, you know, it's not true. Johnny, me not hear you, Johnny. <laughs> Number 16. Two to four. Three to four. Three to four. Yeah. Good job. 
Number 17, 20 points out of 24, 20, uh, 45 points. 49. 49. Oh, truth. Seven footballs or 56 footballs? One to, one one to eight. eight. No, whoa. 18 rainy days out of 24 rainy days? Three to four. 60 miles out of 72 miles? Five to six, one hour. Wow. Is there anybody in the class um, of the nine of you that don't understand this? Anything that is happening? Derisha, we're not, we're not here tonight, mommy. Sir, she was saying something about her phone and electricity and laptop. Oh, and it was her. Okay, yes, it was sir. Derisha. I got, I got yes, the message, but yes, I never know. Okay, it was Derisha. All right, no problem. All right. Um. Okay, guys, um, this is very good work. Um, to be honest with you, all I want to see happen for you guys now is that when I move full speed ahead in competing those pieces um, on no, any court. Straight up. Straight up. So, so Naomi is in the lead. Naomi has only three more pieces to finish. And they are three others. And I would have sent you the WhatsApp. Say it again. No, Mr. Sir, if I'm see this man, I'm say yes, sir. I can't read it now. Yes, man. Yeah, man. So there are three others. So four of you technically. One have three pieces out, and three of you have two pieces up. Oh, you do some more work today, Tracy? No, sir. I do no more yet, sir. No, man. Come on, don't disappoint me. Yeah, man. So we have two pieces so far. No, man. No, man. That's not good. No, that's not good, man. You need, to, you need to put some pep in the step, man. All right, so. please. So, so the, 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 my point is, um, you guys are not doing badly. Some of you kind of stuck with two pieces, as Tracy said, when I look at it and I was a little disappointed. However, everybody has started um, doing some work on the platform, which is a good thing. Um, with the exception of two students who, now do not, one student reached out to me and explain what is happening. I have not heard from the other student. Um, but for the most part though, you guys are doing well. I am excited to see what is gonna happen in another couple of weeks. I sent you something today, this morning, as it relates to the exam, because of Maryland people are still disenfranchised. They have pushed back the, 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 the exam, I think by two weeks. No. It don't mean so because they push by the exam by two weeks, they have two weeks more to complete EDUCASOF. It no works so. EDUCASOF is still going to be completed in the same time span. Those two weeks are for me to help you know because I am still finishing the syllabus within the specified time. Those two weeks is for me you know, to get past paper questions and other questions so I can drill you for the exam. So it's not for me to stretch it out to say, oh, we're going to do this. I'm still finishing my stuff. Right? No. Okay, Daddy. Yeah, man. Thank you, please. No. You know, why I have to come to class and rocks up my lovely students, you know. I say, I'm, I'm calling, you know, there's any teacher that I'm not behaving at all. I need calling out, me name on the out, like old John, you know. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Anybody find a recipe for me? What kind of recipe, sir? Any recipe. recipe. Any recipe at all. I just want a recipe that yields, um, that tell me how much something yields. Any recipe? Shani, see how the recipe them like job for one quick, no man. Only thing I have like right now is a Snickers. I don't have nothing like. You see, every night you come and come, come talk about food. Jesus, Father. I just said, she's fat in a sir. Leave a pretty student alone. <laughs> Sir, so I'm 90. I'm getting an exam. Yeah, I know. They better. They better. Go, go, work, go study. See me, so that's the spirit. Uh, so I'm seeing some recipes, but it's not telling me. It, it's not telling me how much how much it yields. All right, let me see. Like you want to know what the soup on them must sir. get. Um, twelve, twelve kilo. You are crazy. Eh? I can give him one of the soup ones because I think it have on yield. I think the, one of them have on yield, yeah. I find a natural look one, but I'm not 
So if, 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 you find, if you find that Tracy, just share it from the, on your screen and then we talk about it from there, from the screen. Alright, oh, okay. Because I'm seeing some recipes. And anybody else in the meantime, because what Tracy, if somebody has come before Tracy, I can use that one. Because what Tracy has, we can use it for more real life stuff. Because when you, when, when, you, when you got class, I mean, going to the real world, I realize stuff you're going to use. I'm seeing recipes, but I just don't see the, how much it yields and, and is, is, oh, you know what I can do? Let me refine the search. Go through, trace. I will be sharing. Shani, sir. Okay, Shan Shani. All right, I like I like what I'm seeing. All right, let me just beautify this for my purpose. All right, corn shoulder soup. Mm hmm. I know some other. All right. Oh, what's your me full full noise to trace? Um, shan shan. Me I try scroll on and it's now move. Can you scroll up for me, please? Let me see what is happening. All right, good. All right, nice. And it 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 the, the portion size is six. It yields six. Yes, sir. All right. The serving size is eight ounces. The yield is one point five liters. All right. So that means let me just explain all of that. I am not. I am a math teacher. I am not in hospitality, but I'm going to explain what it is. It means that the amount of corn shoulder soup, um, corn shoulder that is prepared in total. Is 1.5 liters. Yeah, when you get the serving size is going to be eight ounces, it means that eight somebody are going to get out of this. Yeah, six somebody going to get out of this. And each of the six persons will get eight ounces. All right? So, and the yield is 1.5 liters. All right? 1.5 liters. Everybody seeing and agreeing with me? Yes, yes sir. sir. And you can come by tomorrow. Yeah? We'll be doing this at school. You do this at school tomorrow? Yes, Five Tell different me. soups. Tell me what time? About 9 o'clock. 9 a.m.? 9 p.m. <laughs> no. It's a sauna stay, no? A sauna stay. Because Ooh. truly knows I'm going to teach tomorrow from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock. I'm going to make sure I'm going to put on something. On, um, on a Friday, so we can't come with my, 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 my long butt to stand up outside of the kitchen door. <laughs> Cheese and peas. Oh, ja, 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 ja. oh my goodness, I'm disappointed. But anyhow, work with me now. And, 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 I'm, and I'm happy for this. That means that means the rest of you have on a different menu planned for, for, for soups. Yes, sir. All right, so guess what now? Guess what now? A yes or nice? Oh, 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 teacher, the Gillings? No, sir. One new teacher. A new teacher, sir. Aris Henry. No, 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 she. Everybody in the class, we want, so Shanice, you need, to, you need to send this to me. WhatsApp or email, send this to me, and I want the rest of it to send, because I'm going to be using these examples to teach you the math to it. Right, yes, ma'am. All right, so we're we going to use this first one. I'll again do the recipe conversion. So, is it in groups or is it individual? Individual. Groups sir, individual. Groups individual, sir. We need. Yeah, so, as persons to a group and it's five different soups, sir. So, each person should do one, sir. Say it again? It's five persons to a group, sir. Uh -huh. There are five different soups. Oh, so it's, it's, it's group, it's group, individual for true. Yes, sir. Come on, so that means I'm supposed to can get well, 11 different recipes. Then, everybody's supposed to eat my recipe. No, sir. Everyone, there are the five sir, of them, they do so. Sir, I don't all five this, sir. I don't all five this? Yes, again, I, again I am scrolling. Scroll for me, Shanice, please. Oh, no, no, I'll assume something. You're going up again. A motor on water, going up again. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the rest of them. Sir, it's up here, sir. Them there, sir. You don't have on the yield. These one, those don't have on the yield on it, sir. 
No, I'm going to put the yeast on it. Something here. Cream of pumpkin with herb oil. Mama, mama, mama. Mm. Cream of potato soup. With... How about that? Sorry, Lard bacon, ones? sir. A bacon. With bacon. Sir, it's bacon. Mm. 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 Them just put bacon, sir. Mm. We have vegetable soup and chicken consomme, sir. You know, I don't like them again, honestly. <laughs> Click on them something, but by this way, like my one ton, so egg whites, it's a good if I want on something, yeah. And we're going, we're going to strain it off. Mm -hmm. so it's supposed to um, have a um, not really clear, but. There should be nothing in it when it is finished. Don't form a meat or whatever, except for the um the garnishes. Jeez, I'm proud of the carrot and pumpkin. Mm -mm. I will I be making that one. I cannot feel bad man right about now. Jeez, <laughs> um. No man, I'm not sure this. I wonder if but tomorrow Friday. Oh God, it's just good. Sir, you're up at Excelsior, yeah, don't it, sir? No, 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 that's my problem. Man. I normally have my, 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 my FCM3 class. Go back to your, go back to that one, yeah. I normally have my FCM3 class. Um, I normally do it at home because the 5 to 9, I don't want to on the road after 9 I drive. Come on. Sister, I mean, I tell you, sir, when you're in class, so you just swing by, sir, and go on home. You know, you have your super go on for sir. Well, guess what? I will think about this, you know, because you know, I'm going to carry 11 different containers now. Oh. <laughs> By the way, let me ask you one question before I go to this. Before time down, probably. You know, things like all. all <clears throat> sorry, John, Johnny, is you going to ask this, Johnny? Johnny, Johnny, please. Yes, sir. All right. So let me ask you one question. So you say like all of them, them, them different soup that I go make, and I'm going to make good. You know, I can't carry one container and just throw like, like everything together. Everybody, I go one place when you're done, sir. Large Shani. I love it. I love this, sir. So, Johnny, you'll make soup tomorrow to Johnny? Yeah, actually, this man will do tomorrow. The con show, though. Rockstone, you know, say it's all right. Let us let us focus on applied math. Come, guys, no, come. Let's go. You know them serious today, no, sir. Are you for serious? God, Tracy and Stanley, sir. <laughs> all right, then, no problem. All right, come, let's go. So, in another couple of minutes, what I want to do, so I, I have this recipe. I'm not going to use all the ingredients of this recipe corn shoulder and um. Matter of fact, I'm not going to bring up the corn and don't forget to think. Don't? The corn is going to up? No, sir. They must use, um, with the corn in the tin. Oh, it's the corn, the sweet corn in the tin. Okay, yes, sir, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Talk to you. All right. Um, it yields six. It yields six. Now, what if I have a party of Fifteen. This is six, and I put, I'm preparing the same thing for fifteen, for fifteen guests. The same serving size as eight ounces, but um, it's fifteen that I'm serving for. What is my recipe conversion factor? Sir, I wonder if the answer could be twelve by inch after you're done. But I know I get it. All right, me here. Let me, let me calculate it because we just say, how much we say again? 15? Mm. What is the recipe conversion factor? No, no, sir. 12 pine tree, no, no. Sorry, how much you say, 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 15. Sir, 2.5. Anybody else get 2.5? Don't talk to me, no man. Easy, quick, and fast. That's what we've been doing all of all of today. All of today, this is what we're doing. So this is easy and quick and fast. So talk to me. Yes, sir. I agree that it's 2.5? Yes, sir. 
All right, so I agree that the recipe conversion factor is going to be 2.5. Guys, 15 divided by 6. I told you, what it is that you're doing, I can't write, so forgive me. So you just have to go work with me. Forgive me that I can't write. My system died. So you input 6 to 15. So you're trying to move from 6 to 15. And remember, your, your original recipe, you're trying to get it to be 1. So you're going to divide that by 6. So 6 over 6 to give you 1. Unitary. So you're going to now have 15 divided by 6. And 15 divided by 6 is going to be 2.5. Everybody see that and understand that now? Sir, may I try right, sir, but I can't write. No, man, you're not able to write, so. But, yeah, but, 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 but 2.5. Tell me no, yes or no. Two people say yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, good. No. So, that is just the first part of the question. 2.5. Tell me. How many diced onions must I know use for this recipe? Ten ounces, sir. Ten ounces, sir. Very good. Nice. That you see a star when it comes to the kitchen and food, you know, sir. See me so. But guess what now? This recipe calls for one and a half cups of you need to make up make adjustment to this here one and a half you have to put the cups you have to put the s there so one and a half cups of sweet kernel corn how much now corn am i supposed to use three and three quarter cups sir a quarter your mouth very nice yeah so 0.75 is three quarter very nice um the rest of you naomi johnny wizard the rest of you know i catch it Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So, you know, you talk to me, man. Talk to your teacher. Oh, you yeah, know, you should have teach with yeah, this man, from last semester when we are doing yield, sir. Because you know. up to exam morning, we never understand yield, sir. You serious? In an exam, we go like, no, in an exam, we go and understand it, sir. In sir, well, well, I think they are low and I'm not, I get to do it by the exam because when me see it sir just skip past it because at the selection part of the at, you know paper too like, yeah in the exam yeah. we're gonna understand it uh, shanice alone do it and get her 15 marks so mm. i must the only time do um, uh, it, she I must the, you know, the, so she has the multiple choice that's the only time oh no you see but i tell them for oh you know that was last semester Yes sir. yes, sir. Yeah, man. Applied math is really a second semester course, you know. Sir, and then mash we up, sir, and give us Spanish in our last semester, sir. But a good thing we get it out of the way, sir. All right, but yes or no? Nobody can I'm putting again. Can I catch this? And as I said before, I'm still aiming to finish the syllabus and you know in, in, in the in the regular time that I had. Um so I can use the last two weeks. We still meet at our times and we use the last two weeks so we can just do questions like these and just work on them because i said the, 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 the difficult part of this is to make sure that you get your recipe conversion factor right you see once your recipe conversion factor right you're good to go let me ask you um hmm. All right. Um, how many, how many, how many potatoes? P, p potatoes are I supposed to use? Sir, still using the same recipe sir, conversion factor. Ounce, sir. Sir. Yeah, same thing, but the same recipe conversion factor. Sir, fifteen ounces. Yeah, fifteen ounces, sir. Good job. Fifteen. Little less than one pound, sir. Little less than one pound. Ah. Ounce less than a pound. One ounce less than a pound. Let me ask you a question. Um. Let me ask you a question now. And let us check. Let us check to see if what they are saying here for the corn shoulder soup is correct if i have eight ounces and i have six portions six eights are 48 
if I con when I convert ounce to liters. Yes, sir, I know. Mm -hmm. How many liters am I going to get, though? Nineteen point two, sir. I'm not sure. I'm just a say. Question again, sir. Because when I when I when I convert this, I didn't get one point five liters, you know. Sir, yeah, I'm gonna get one point four, sir. One point four liters, sir. One point four, me get. Yes, sir. I don't know, may I mix it up with ounces? How do me? You know, get um, I'm just saying, I'll change it to wait and sir. I'm gonna say, this say, I want sir 15. Yeah, but but, but let, 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 let me just go through this again. Um, remember, you know, one liter is going to be equal to 33.81 fluid ounces. Remember, I gave it a conversion table. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have yeah. to you have to make sure that you know that guys. You have to know it. Sir, that's why I remember this in you know, a sir. The 16 ounce make a pound in you know, a sir. Mm-hmm. You have to remember it. So one liter is going to be equivalent to 33 point point eight um fluid um fluid ounces. Yes, sir. So if I have if I have 48 fluid ounces it's going to give me 1.4 liters so um this group has to change that yield from 1.5 to 1.4 and if you want to go to two decimal places you can put 1.42 yes sir all right and i'm not it, it, i'm in a class teaching you know, so i have to tell you the right thing you know because i don't want you to think that you're getting 1.5 and you're really not getting 1.5 Sir, the point one, sir, that I left on the spoon and the rest of the I left on the pot, sir. Mm -mm. Um, the not only that, um, you think if you talk about, you think if you talk about it, it will run up on the side of the container, the side of the bowl. Yes, sir. Yeah, but, um, but really and truly, what you're saying, unless you're saying, unless you're going to put it in a way to say that, um, no, because, what you're saying to me is that these ingredients will, will, will give me a yield of 1.5 liters. That's what you're saying to me. Yes, sir. And then you're saying to me now that my serving size is going to be 8 ounces and I'm going to have 6. So it, it oh, means therefore I then... Saying, huh? I get what you're saying, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, 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 have, to, we have to do a slight adjustment right there. Unless and, and, and it could stay, no, yeah, it could stay. It could stay to say that the ingredients is when it give you one point five liters. So if I'm I'm coining this so that in the event it is asked of you, you can explain it. You can say that the ingredients give a yield of one point five liters, but your serving size at eight ounces by six portions is going to be less than one point five, which is one point four two. So you are having no. You're, you're doing that 0 0.8 liters for spillage. And for what may get stuck to the bottom of the pot because you can burn it. You, you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. All right. One last one because I know time is, is at us. If I were to, how many chicken stock would I no need? I use three cups of chicken stock to make this. And with my recipe conversion of 2.5, what is really, how many chicken stock would I need? Seven and a half cups. I mean, you need seven and a half cups. Let me ask you a question. This hard? No, sir. It's not hard. No, sir, but I just remember it sometimes. No, it's, and it's not a matter of remembering. Let me tell you what you need to do. It's your conversions. You must know your conversions. Yes, you sir. Can't, yeah. You can't go around that. And the truth is, you don't know what conversions they may give you for the recipe stuff. Because it may very well be ounces to liters. It may be ounces to pounds, it could be ounces to kilograms. You don't know what it is, so you have to make sure that your conversion is on par. It could be cups to, it could be tablespoon to teaspoon, teaspoon to tablespoon, mm -hmm. right? Because it could tell you that your 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 recipe will yield um 
one teaspoon. But if you, you're using a particular recipe conversion, how many tablespoons do we need? How many teaspoons are there in a tablespoon? Well, five or four. Huh? Yes, sir. sir, I think uh, a tree, sir. Uh, four. Three. 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 Okay. Guys, only need to study this something. I gave this thing at the start, you know. So three yes, teaspoons sir. equal to one tablespoon. So what I'm saying to you is, if you are using, let me see which one here now. Um, teaspoon. All right. So three teaspoons of flour. What is the recipe conversion for three teaspoons of flour? Are you the same two point five. Yeah. Sir, it should be seven point five teaspoons. Sir. Seven and a half teaspoons. Seven and a half teaspoons. Right, which is the same thing as the as a as a as a as a cup of chicken. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. So let me ask you, how many tablespoons would that be? So that would have been two tablespoons, sir, and one and a half teaspoons. Okay, very good. You see the point I'm making, Janice? Them can them can twist up the question to ask you. Sir, I'm gonna know how me answer you a while ago, you know, sir. I must be sneakers because we're <laughs> yeah, man. That's it. All right, guys. I'm gonna end here. I need, I need, I need for you to send me this chance, please, so that I can use these very examples going forward. Um but, but before you send it though, I, I want you guys to do a little bit more work on this for me to tell me the yield. You see, like why I have this one to give me the portion of the yield, the information that you can give for the recipe conversion factor, we'll have to give you all of this information before you can calculate it. So if I don't know the yield, I don't even have to know the yield, but I can know the, the, the serving size or the portions. The portions is very important. Then I can tell you now, say, all of this will give me this number of portions, and then I want to calculate X number of portions, I will be able to calculate my yield, my recipe conversion, and then I can calculate the stuff. All right? I hope you learned something tonight. Anybody did? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Big up on yourself. We'll talk. Have a wonderful weekend, sir. To you too, W. But do, all right. Take care. All right. How do I... All right, sir.